Good morning, everyone. I have come on to talk about Emma Femra's treasures, no spending until 2020. My really good friend Lisa Conway from Lisa My Eclectic Life, and I'm going to put links to everything down in the description box, um, has been following Emma Femra's channel and the no spend 2020 um it's a four month challenge <laughs> and when i did the 100 days challenge i said i wasn't going to do any more long challenges but we all know i have too much stuff so i am going to commit to the no spending 2020 challenge which started September 1st. I'm a little late with the video, but I have not spent anything. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. You know, I buy groceries, but I'm committing to not spending for craft supplies. I know I have to go get some new readers, and I know we are going on a six-week trip, and there's no way I can commit to no spending completely. Um, with Emma Femmer's challenge, um, she says that you can buy glue and adhesive, ink, um, blending tools and sponges, and that's these little things right here. I'm pretty sure I have all the ink refills, all of the sponges, all of those things that I might need. I, she said printer ink, and since I use my printer for work, I have to have printer ink. I also do not do a lot of um, printouts for my art, so that's not an issue as far as that goes, I don't think. Um, you can buy copy paper and cardstock. I think I'm probably pretty good with those, and I'm going to just say none of that. She did um, say somewhere along the line that, you know, if you're an artist and you paint and you run out of white paint, that you can replace your white paint. Um, there are things, I mean, I have plenty of plate paint in different colors. I won't be going out to buy um, more yellow paint. I will work with what I've got. But um, if you are someone who, who paints a lot and you run out of your gesso or your white, then you have, you have, you have to have that to continue. Um, I'm pretty much stocked, so I am pretty good with all that stuff. Um, she also said that if you get a gift card, you can spend that, but only that. It has Even the tax has to come in. Like if you get a $25 gift card, you cannot spend $25 plus tax. You have to spend it and keep it under that $25. Um, I am going to commit to... Um, not spending anything on craft supplies, which also for me includes books. Um, I will not buy any new books for the next four months. That is going to be really hard for me, honestly. Um, I have so many supplies and so many um, projects, but I still have a very, very bad habit of going and buying books. So... Um, I'm going to commit to that. Um, office supplies. I won't go to the thrift store and buy office supplies. I won't do those things. But I do, like I said, I do know that I have to go to the store and buy some readers just so I can function. After my eye surgery, I now have to have readers. And um, I have one pair that sort of works, and I need several pairs. Um, I need to have them in different strengths, unfortunately, until my eye decides to do whatever it's going to do. Um, the thing about Emma Femmer's challenge is that you are they're asked to use the no spin till 2020 hashtag, which I am going to work on that. Um, she also has a sub a giveaway for her subscribers that's just a fun part of it I just I'm like Lisa in the fact that I have 
things that I don't use and I need to not do that. Um, I tend to buy supplies that I don't use and therefore not spending till 2020 is going to be my my goal and I'm really hoping oh on our trip I won't buy craft supplies I will work with whatever I take with me and can pick up for free um, I have I, I do have some things I'm going to take with me on our trip so it's no craft supplies for my spending. No craft books, no craft supplies. Um, that is my commitment to the no spend until 2020 project. Okay, guys, um, let me read you a quote from our 1001 Ways to Creativity book because, you know, we always have to have creativity. And then I'm going to get on to the next project. The heart is forever young, so consult it whenever the body tires. Now, I'm not so sure about that being a creativity quote, but it is a good quote. Okay, guys, have a great afternoon. Go make some art. Bye-bye.